Hey everybody, welcome. This is Enoch Leffingwell, and today I want to share with you how I organize my Bible study documents using Google Drive. It has been requested by my friend Willie Wolf to know how I organize my notes on uh, Google Drive with folders and files. And so here I'm going to share with you exactly what I do. So what I have, and I would encourage everybody to do, is any time that you study a subject in the Bible, make a separate page for it. Take notes dedicated for that subject. And here was a, a, a one that we did in class, study on weight loss, the subject of weight loss. Here is one, a Bible study we Bible study that I do on tithes and offerings. Whenever I study my devotions, I'm taking notes. I'm studying to I'm studying to learn, I'm studying to teach. I want to take what I've learned and share it with other people. So I actually made a um, when my documents get a little longer, this one is 20 pages. Tw oh, it's counting 30. okay. Well, when my documents get a little bit longer, I end up making a table of contents with bookmarks. I could show you how to do that later. That's not very necessary at, one, at this point. Okay, 60. So this is a big document. Anyways, um, there's, there's subjects on anything. The gallbladder, the flat earth theory, the cross, the parable of the ten talents, eight traits of virality, even a Bible study on shyness, prayer, personal finance, all of these things no matter what the subject is, if I'm studying it, I create a document for that subject. Thankfulness and praise is something that I've been studying of lately that I've really appreciated. Here's a quick tip. If you have a Word document, it takes space on your Google Drive and it counts against your quota, which by default on Google, you have 15 gigs, which is the highest amount of space out of any of the cloud storage. So I like Google Drive for that. I opted to get the two terabyte storage because we also use this for um, working with uh, virtual volunteers who help edit our videos. But um, this is my system. It's very simple. I created documents, I mean, a folder called Enix Studies, or that's Enix eSort Studies because. I'm, I have an older system that I'm trying to transport uh, the documents from eSort over to Google Drive because Google Drive works so much better. But anyways, this is my system. I have this folder, and any time that I ever study the Bible on any subject, I um, create a Google Doc by going new, and I open up a new Google Doc right there, and I title it, and everything is well. But um, then anytime that I'm listening to a sermon, I have a separate folder. You go new, you go um, folder, and then I title it sermon notes. And in my sermon notes, I have different sermons that I take notes on. Just this last Sabbath, my brother Willie did a sermon, The Coming of the Comforter, and what I do is I put together the verse that he, that he shared as I pull it up in eSword. And then I, I just type it here. And any time that I'm, I'm studying, um, here you're saying the Spirit is connected with or the Spirit brings life. Spirit and life are almost interchangeable in the Bible. I was typing fast, so it was spelt wrong, but... Um, then he gave a proof text for that. I was like, oh, that's a pretty good proof text right there. I like that. So I just take notes. So I got 12 pages of Bible study notes from his sermon uh, this weekend. And that goes into my sermon notes folder. So I, I find that to be very helpful because then when I'm searching for a subject, I can just type in a Google Drive um, and, it, and it's really useful. Like, for instance, let's say I, I want to look for a Bible study on small groups. So I, just, I just I always title them study on small groups. Oh, yeah, there it is. 
right there and it's super easy to open you just click it and then you have all the bible studies on the small groups just like that so it's simple it's fast it's effective it's able to take notes and i love that this outline is over here on the left hand side they talk about the purpose of small groups size of small groups location working in partners company of singers prayer groups home groups training everything like that it is so useful you have the view um, in case this ever disappears you can um, you, you can toggle it on with show document you go to view show document outline see how it disappeared and how it reappears so that's how you toggle that on it's so helpful i like that so it, it, it's very simple my my documents are in that regard really you create your own system you you do what works best for you but what i find works for me is i just have a folder of all my studies and i have a separate folder of sermons that i take it's, it's pretty simple and then i just keep things in there in order to make sure that when you save it actually goes to the right folder i use drive.google.com or or actually i use um yeah, drive.google.com forward slash drive. And that makes sure that I'm on Google Drive as opposed to if I were to go to uh, Google Docs. Google Docs has its own website, um, which I do not like to use. Here, this is what the Google Docs looks like. If you, if you create a Google Doc in this website, you're going to create what is called an orphan. It has no folder. It is the only way you're going to access it is through the search bar. And it's just, you don't have it. It's all cluttered. I mean, they're just a bunch of random documents of anything that you have. And so I find that this isn't very organized. I don't like it. So I never use uh, docs.google.com. I always use Google Drive right here. This is what works the best. So there's my suggestions. This is my system of what I find very helpful. What system do you use for organizing? What programs do you use? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you.